Right, we're onto the Coventry Road. Is anybody going to give me way? Nobody wants to get in the way of the van. <laughs> <laughs> that toppy's been going around giving it to everyone. Yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Monday morning, plenty of errands to do, plenty of cars to get washed. Aleem has been out in the Bugatti, so the Bugatti's back at base now, came up on the truck. I think he's driving the infamous Corsa. Icky's just brought in the Cully, that's having to wash now. Got a bunch of other cars to get washed. This car really badly needs an alloy wheel refurb, uh, so we're dropping that off now. What else have we got going on a Monday morning, man? Two Hurricanes going out in an hour. We've got a Wraith to pick up from Ascot. You got a Wraith got... to pick up from Ascot? Yeah. What We've time got... are you doing that? I have no idea yet. Whenever Icky says go, we just go. We've got a G-Wagon that spent the weekend in Bournemouth that's coming back in at some point, customers' cars here with us. We've got the SVJ that's been out all weekend, spent yesterday in London as well. I think everyone saw on LA Weekly. Yeah. Um, that's coming back in a few hours. Right guys, um, so we're just around the corner from the show, we pulled up at Speedwells. We're gonna get some loan wheels onto the Range Rover. So these are 22s, probably get some 21s or 22s as well as loan wheels. Take the car back to the showroom and then in a few days, Ibra from Speedwell will give us a call and let us know if the car's ready. Come back, do the same, swap them over again, get our wheels back on. So we're just about to leave Speedwells. We've got the loan wheels onto the Range Rover. It's not gonna be driven much on these. We'll probably just park it up. I know they're not the nicest, but they're loan wheels. Ibra just let me into a little secret. They're actually Icky's old wheels from about, how long is it, about 10 years ago? 12 years ago. 12 years ago, I've one of Icky's old Range Rover. Was, but they're stable and they're fine, there's no cracks. So I just got back to the showroom and noticed Mark is here. How are you, doing, Mark? You alright? Good, thank you, man. Cleaning the sand? Yeah, just quick, quick visit today, I tell you what, the, the tank looks a lot cleaner. Looks a big difference, doesn't it? Massive difference. Right guys, so I'm on my way home because I'm dying. I've got a severe illness. I'm going through a rough time. I'm suffering from severe hay fever. I'm joking. Post, to put in the post box, we've got some parts to pick up from Lamborghini Birmingham. The parts that if you guys remember from week four, well I'm back order for the body shop. So I'm gonna pick them up, get them over to the body shop and crack on with the day. So just picked up the parts from Lamborghini Birmingham. It's just a bonnet latch and small section of the grill. Gonna head straight over to A. Thompson, get them bits dropped off and get back to base. <laughs> Guys, so just made this way, Thompson. Um, got the parts from, gonna drop it inside, head back to the showroom. Base, let's crack on with the day. So we just got back to the showroom. I think we walked into the showroom at 20 past one. It's now 28 minutes past one and we're hitting the road again. So just in front of us is the Cullinan. We're gonna drop that to the dealership. It's gotta get a few things tidied up. Since it came back from the last service, we found a few little things that aren't right. So we've booked it back in with them. Send it off there now. And then from there, we're gonna head straight to Ascot. We're picking up a Rolls Royce Wraith. So Madge is gonna drop off the Cullinan to the dealership. I'll take him up to Ascot. He'll get the Wraith and then we'll head back to base. So hopefully back for about five, maybe half five at the latest. Just landed at Rybrook, just dropped off the Cullinan, gave the guys a breakdown on the, what we need sorting out. We're gonna hit the road now, fuel up, straight down to Ascot, get the Wraith, get home. So we've just picked up the Wraith from Ascot. Unfortunately, Madge just hit the local roads and I've hit the A roads, so we split up, so we can't show you the Wraith. We're on the way back, an hour and 40 minutes, and then we'll be uh, back at base the Just made a massive mistake. We stopped with the services and we wanted to grab a bite. And unfortunately, we ran into Waitrose as opposed to WA Smiths. I've just spent £8.40 on a meal deal. Well, it's practically a meal deal. And Nathan, how much you spent? £7.80. Uh, £7 for a little pasta pot, a pack of crisps, and a bottle of pop. Extortion, mate. Joke. Let's get back to Birmingham. Come on. 
Right guys, so we've just got back from Ascot. The Wraith has gone straight into the wash bay. We've just had the G-Wagon turn up. Customer had it on a five, six day hire. That's been parked away. The bugs disappeared in the time we've been gone. So Liam's got that out to do some promotional work. He's back shortly. And uh, that's pretty much it for a Monday. So we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, how's it going Nathan? Oh, this weather is beautiful. Is that a cheeky Ferrari I see over there? Yes, yeah, I didn't see you yesterday, did I? You had a very busy day. Very, very busy. And you know what I saw? That next week the weather is gonna be pretty damn awful. For that reason, I thought we would enjoy the glorious weather and what a beautiful surprise we have here from Simon Green Motorsports. Now, if you guys have watched my Ferrari Roma video, if you haven't, Click over here, I was actually wearing the same shirt. I was feeling Ferrari vibes. Do you like my shirt, by the way? Okay. So yeah, shades are out, shirts are out. Yeah, <laughs> when I got head out in this Ferrari 812 GT yesterday. It's a day for us to connect with this car and I've been meaning to do that for a while. Right, okay, now why this is a very special car to me is because first and foremost, Ferrari's V12 is one of the most glorious engines you could ever think of. It sounds incredible, which you will see shortly. And this is the first convertible V12 Ferrari I've done in 50 years. You know, it's great to have friends in some uh, very special places and they can just be like, hey Ali, would you like to try out the Ferrari 812? But I have a sneaky suspicion that they're trying to get me to buy this. So we're going to find out shortly how this drives. Going back to my Bugatti. So I've had an incredible weekend in it. I wish, Nathan, you could have stayed for the Saturday and Sunday. If you're wondering why it sounds like I'm having to try so much harder to talk this whole weekend, I met so many people. Even me arriving to the showroom today, you know, it's never a simple journey. You pull up at the petrol station, you've got to talk to 10 people. You, go, you pull up to the lights, you gotta talk to people. Everywhere you go, you gotta talk to people. And then the air conditioning's on, and then it's nice and cool inside the car, and then you put the window down, and then the hot air comes inside. Right, okay, so Bugatti's here. Let's see what we have. Nahid bhai, Assalamu alaikum. Miami voice. That's exactly the type of vibes I was trying to go for. That's about it. Do you like it? Do you like the look? So, Tuesday, when the weather's this good, we've got to make the most of it. All right, lad, let me just get my last bits and bobs out of this and let's reverse this one inside. Oh, by the way, before we do that, I want a picture on my Instagram. So if you just wait here, I'm going to go get the keys for the engine. All right, for the keys for the Ferrari. My dad was just with some customers, so we couldn't really go in there. Uh, Nathan, are you just... You know what? This is a load of rubbish, this is. I mean, I need to make sure that you realize how exciting this moment is. I don't think you do. Do you? No. This is actually more exciting than the Bugatti in certain aspects of the whole thing. Not by going fast. I'm gonna sneeze. Hey, fever season. Do you use it back up? Yeah. It's gone now. All right, come. It's very, very special, this. Are you ready? I like that smile on your face. Do you now understand why this is so special? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's the guy that's done most damages to the cars and we just trusted him reversing the Bugatti. Congratulations, sir. You have officially moved the Bugatti without causing any damage. Stress. Uh, <laughs> so, there Nahi that successfully reversed in a Bugatti. <laughs> my dad hasn't driven. I can't, I don't know how he does it, right? I don't know how he does it. He never gets tempted to drive it. Shall we chase him in the Ferrari? Get in. Is that a good driver? My dad's, I'm not sure, a very good driver. You know, back in the days when he used to pull up to work, yeah? Obviously, I'm a mediocre boss. You know, what he used to do? He used to tell his workers, yeah, park your car and leave enough gap for me to J turn my car into it. <laughs> no. And he used to do it every morning for him. And he says, if I damage it, it's on me, isn't it? You are never keeping up with that, ever, ever. I thought this was fast. No good. LA Weekly, this is a very rare occasion that you'll see the real man, Sal, actually driving his own car instead of letting me drive it all the time. 
You know, at one point when you was accelerating, right, from behind, so much dust, so much was being thrown up. And I think that's because this is not the only exhaust here. No, 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 there is there is more exhaust than any. No, that's not because it's nothing to do with the car. That's because it's the driver. Oh, that's me. <laughs> come on. Hey, come on. That's so good. Nathan, come to the kitchen with me. Let's go cool down. It's getting really warm in here. Stupid sweet. It's warm, isn't it? But then when it's not warm, we can play. We'll have a little catch up with Pops upstairs. And then we'll dismiss ourselves from the office and go play with a Ferrari. It's work, man. It's work. If I didn't do this, you wouldn't be engaged into the content. You wouldn't be engaged into the content. You wouldn't know which is the best car hire company in the world. Planet, just in case they've forgotten. Platinum Executive Travel. Should I do the voiceover? Yeah. Welcome to Platinum Executive Travel. How do I open the engine? Uh, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're saying it like, you know, wow, you've worked on so many Ferrari 812s. Where? Come here then, Dora. <laughs> Come here. Open the bonnet. Come on, then let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. It's a... <laughs> you know when he popped it, he didn't even look at the camera, he didn't even look at me, he went straight back to work like, yo. All right, G, I give it ya. Yeah. Look how proud he is of himself. Mm, very nice. Best Ferrari sound. I'm turning into a bit of a Ferrari fanboy here. Another thing I really like about the GTS as opposed to the Superfast is these two humps that we have here. Obviously with the Superfast it goes all the way through, the Superfast being the hardtop variant of the 812. This one's got the curvature in it. Yeah, I might even potentially buy this very car. We'll see. I don't know. Nathan, Popsy Doodles is uh, busy upstairs. Uh, Inamsy Doodles is on the phones. And, uh, and Tora is just uh, cracking on. So I guess what? We need to now go experience the 812 Super Fast. Oh, sorry, the 812 GTS. It's only right. It's only right. Jump in. Let's go. Beautiful, glorious weather. Who needs Monaco? Nathan, now I've had my eyes on a car like this for a very long time. Two weeks before we was about to find out that there was going to be a global pandemic, I was about to put down some significant amount of money for a slot on one of these. And then the pandemic came and then uh, I thought I'd hold fire on it. It was probably the best thing I did. But some Ferrari enthusiasts went through with the whole thing. And uh, yeah, now today, alhamdulillah, we are in a 812 GTS. A big thank you to boys over at Simon Green Motorsports. Lucky in the boys. Now what's this? Oh, Wipers, right, that's wipers. Oh, that's the first time I've seen wipers there. I'm just really happy that he didn't go for the black and the yellow details. Oh, look who it is. It's Matty. Matty G. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We're working hard. We're working hard, Matty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the south of Birmingham. Costa del Birmingham. It's too hot. I'm going to put the roof up, man. I can't be dealing with this. That does feel good, though, doesn't it? Like, this, this smells beautiful. Yeah. The original jerk, you know? Mmm. Yeah, please have a try, yeah? Yeah, a leg, please. Leg. Boy, it's too hot. It's way too hot. Wait, Akib, yeah. you're also a part time chef? Part time chef, part time chef. Been doing this for about 15 years now. Just training up Martin over here. <laughs> Martin. Yes, my How do you deal with him every day? Yeah. He's good, man. He's good, man. I just watch the way him. Right, ask Martin what he calls me. Martin, what do you call me? Oh. What do, you, what do you call me? What do you mean, man? Every time you see me, you say... My Thank lad. you, sir. No, man. Steven. Oh, <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, 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 really good. I didn't pull up in here expecting to have some of the finest jerk chicken, but wow, this is really good. Have you been watching the LA Weeklies? No, nah, man. I don't watch <laughs> I'm your cooking lad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your cooking lad. I'm your cooking lad. The Laura Peas, man. Get the Laura Peas. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. You, you see, I like, I like, I, I like Akim. You know what? Because he knows, he knows. <laughs> Laura. Piana. Jerk chicken. Yeah. Boop, boop. Chow. Big shot. Bullet. Jerk <laughs> <laughs> chicken straight from the jump. Jeez. 496 Mosley Road. 
Arcana, Come on. Lime Grove, Come on. Kitchen Co. Rari workout. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, love. See, I pull out, everybody gives me way, but I need my boy Akim to also get the same way. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Pops, I don't want to give this car back. Okay, one second. Yeah, take that option. Yeah, uh, thank you. I don't want to give this car back. Yeah, that's fine, no problem, keep it. Thanks, because plus this is, um, I can't wait to give you this car. I think this one's for you, Pops. It's the, literally the best car in the world. It's Ferrari, it's Ferrari for a reason. Listen to this, listen to this. Oh my days. I'll see you at the showroom. We bought the car. <laughs> this is my car now. Please tell me you got that. Yeah. Did you get that? Oh, that was incredible. <laughs> wow. Basically, just chewed up a day, driving around a Ferrari 812. Right, let's go tell my dad why this is such an amazing car. Where's our kitchen at? Oh, I only had one. <laughs> yeah, you'll watch the weekly back. You'll watch the weekly back. I only got one wing, didn't I? Oh boy, what's going on? Do you want me to do that? How you doing? All oh good. I haven't seen much of you today now, boy. I haven't seen much of you. I see this Ferrari popping in that a million times. Yeah. Then, uh, you're just on the roads. Mm. How you doing? You okay? Lucky Paddy, you caused me big problems, bro. Because the leaves fell in love. Nah, he's a, he's a, he's a fucker like that. He don't love anybody except the motors. Uh, at least we he ain't gonna find him a woman or nothing like that. You know what I mean? He's happy with the cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, yeah, I was driving. And the roof was off, and they give it some the front, the, fr yeah, the fire was in the middle yeah. of the dash. And, it, and I was shifting gear like that, and the fire flew into the air, it's all on camera, flew into the air, and landed into, into the pond. No, 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 he didn't land, he caught it. He caught it, and then he turned around, you know what he says to me? I don't like to lose any money! <laughs> no, he doesn't go like that. What is it? I don't like losing money! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fiver. <laughs> I caught it. I caught it. I don't like to lose money. Uh, my dad is very, very smart, very, very clever. What he's doing is right now, he's saying, look, you know, let's put that away. Let's let that thought simmer for a minute. And let's pull out the Bugatti. And hopefully this will stop me from spending another 350K. Family, we need to train the, our man. I'm going to the bins. He's here. Our man is here. Safe, safe, safe. Right no, 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 these bottles of water is not his fault. No. That's my fault. Because I put them here. But that is definitely his fault. What? And this topi. What? That topi. <laughs> that topi has been going around giving it to everyone. Yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We need a sky roof, didn't we, Pops? Yeah, no, no, we, we... It's on the next one, isn't it? Bought a Ferrari, I missed the challenge grill out and the badges. But that but, was on a 355. And then he said, look, he said, have it on the next one. I said, yeah, same, no problem. So same with this sky roof, we'll have it on the next one. Right, Pops, so I missed out uh, a little bit yesterday. Got some good craft on. Um, and we got much sorted for the wedding. Do we need to go get sized up and stuff? Uh, yeah, we're going tomorrow. Yeah. My dad is my manager, by the way. And uh, if you ever check his WhatsApp profile picture, it is, um, it is basically plain and simple, no money, no honey. So if you, uh, you want to get in touch for any business inquiries and anything like that, what better manager than my pops? Anyway, well, thanks. it's been Pops. a pleasure to have you here today, yeah. even though it was only a few hours, yeah. but it all helps. So keep it rolling yeah. and uh, oh, we'll, uh, we'll see you to. tomorrow midday. Oh, look who it is! <laughs> 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 right, I'll see you all tomorrow, Wednesday. Let's get this. Take it. Okay, you're off. Take it. I love this. Sweet. And before we do move on to Wednesday, just know that if you didn't already follow me on Instagram, you would have missed out on some pretty epic footage of the Ferrari uh, 812 GTS. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking, like, you know, if you guys are watching me on YouTube and having so much fun and you don't follow me on Instagram, you're gonna miss out on some pretty fun clips. So make sure you follow me on my Insta, Lord Aleem underscore official. We'll put it up on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, 
just don't miss out on any of the behind the scenes. It also helps me connect with you a bit more on a daily basis as opposed to a weekly basis. I'll see you all tomorrow, Tuesday. It's been a fun day. Morning everyone, it's Wednesday morning here at Platinum. Um, I'm here with Mark from Shiners. You might have met him before on Aleem's vlogs, uh, but you haven't on the LA Weekly. Mark, Shiners, give us a breakdown. How long have you been with us? Sure, with you, nice to work. What's that, about six, six years? years. Yeah, so about 2014 ish when the building was complete. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So yeah. Mark's been around, he's on the scene, he's always on the windows for us. He does commercial, you do private. Commercial, you do... private, residential, do VIP houses, uh, footballers, all sorts of things. People, Full nine TV yards. personalities, yeah. Guys, yeah, check yeah. out Mark's kit. Mark, run them through it. We've got a 500 litre tank, electric reels, all pure water, well, no chemicals, all green. Here's the van, all brand spanking new, electric as well, so keeping with the times. We're just our grafters. <laughs> Simple terms, guys. Don't matter what he's got in here, he does a bang on job every single time. There's a lot of stuff that goes on here that you guys don't get to see, but it's people like Mark and working with the people, keeping them contracts that we've had over the years. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a relationship. I mean, someone, I've had people approach us here at the building, cheaper or faster or whatever, or more regular. Don't matter. Whenever I've gone to Wiki and said, do you want to consider it? Nope. I've been with Chinese this whole time, staying with Always go quality. quality. You, you find that quality at once, and trust me, you stay with them. Yeah, especially yeah. someone like Pay once, one. get a good job done. Yeah, yeah, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> nice one for that, Mark. Bless you. feeling good today because the sun's out <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of humble like good things happening in my life which is not everything could be shared on camera <laughs> but yeah I don't know if tomorrow's gonna be a good day though right well, if we could just bring this in a little bit have a look here and then it goes on to a complete shower until next week but then again I will never believe this app because sometimes it said it's snowing and it never snows and at the moment I find it hard to believe that any rain is on its way. Do you? Mashallah, the cars are out in full swing. This Vauxhall, uh, which I've pulled up in today, is actually my, my actual car. All of these cars are not actually my car. That is the only car that uh, is my actual car. That's what they want to hear. But the truth of the matter is, that's the only car that is not mine. <laughs> As you can see, we are now putting alloy wheels in the back of the uh, Vauxhall. Let's go on in. Now, by what's this, the alloy wheels? These are rather large. These are not going to fit in there. All four of them, are they? These are factory Rolls-Royce Cullinan wheels. They're required to do some tests on the car. They want to put these wheels on the Cullinan and see how it drives, if it drives any different. But I'm pretty sure if there is a fault with the car, it's not because of the wheels. Right, Bugatti Chiron, we are definitely pulling this out again today. Definitely pulling this out. Look at the weather. Oh, this is back from with the boot lid. Yo, let's go check out the boot lid. Is that brand new? We reckon? Perfect. Wow, that's been fixed. Uh, the next door hotel's turned into a quarantine hotel. Wow, my tank. I know why they've opened the tops, is because it's too hot, isn't it? Okay. Hello, baby. They're all so very happy. You're all living in a different world compared to your buddy. It's just so fascinating. Come on, through. Yeah. Slam like and pop. How are you? Come on, Kate. That wow, that was a very aggressive pull in. How are you, lad? In Ambai? How are you? I'm all right, yourself? Might as well give you a little puppy as well. Okay, what's the latest? Uh, we're on the left. Yeah, I know you are. Uh, do you think it's the wheel problem with the cooling? I don't think no, so. But I know, but they have to just do their test, yeah. yeah they They're like, right. Rolls Royce are Rolls Royce, and they've got to do their thing. How's the Urus getting on? Really well. Um, yeah. On his last legs. Match has just gone to get something sorted for the car now. Yeah. And he's going to drop them seatbelts off, then go to Leicester. He's got fuel in the car. Oh, they put it. Oh. <laughs> what, is he going in the Vauxhall? Oh, you know, in the hot weather, all that smells of inside there is plastic. It's like plastic melting. It's horrible, that smell is. What else is new, but Absolutely. Mint. Well, this is the last day of sun, shine. Yes. Oh, Everybody pull out their weather apps. Yeah, nobody believes it. Pull out your weather apps. No, listen, we don't care. Right, alloys, Range Rover, we've got to get it. Is he ready? No, not yet. Oh, we still haven't got my dad a fire. Huh? He lost his what? Where? Nathan lost his car keys. Let me tell you something. Following your footsteps. No, I'm telling you that if you can't find your car keys, that is a really bad yeah, start. That's a real bad start in life. That, no, that, that puts a lot of pressure on. You know, my niece and nephew, yeah. The niece. So where's the key? Found Oh, but did he put a lot of pressure on you? Yeah. No, you don't. Oh, where's the allergy tablets, man? What I need the allergy tablet given me. 
Oh, he's on the phone. Sorry, sorry, boss. Yeah, no, I'm really calm. Oh, for 40 seconds. He's taking money. He's taking money. Can't get him to make a mistake and take your money. What's all that about now? Should you try him again? No, 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 he's waiting. I'm going to wait, man. Look, wait. it's turned into a doctor surgery. This is the old doctor surgery. I'll wait your turn. I'll wait your turn. Looking forward to your new car park. Which one? The Rolls Royce Dawn. You've been excited about that one. He ordered that off his own initiative. Uh, can we make an appointment, sir? <laughs> no, we have to knock the door. No, what I've done is. Come on, get out of the office! <laughs> Investigation. Look, I bleed oil. Pressure your head, bleeds oil. What car was parked here? I think it is the SLS. Uh, it's all clear. No. You're good. <laughs> what are you doing? Have a look. I have a feeling, yeah. Are you looking at this one? Nah. Hmm? The engine oil looks very clean. No, seriously, so where, where, where's that oil come from? So what did you move from here yesterday? Let's go ask my daddy, he remembers absolutely everything. We have a, a surveillance officer in this building. Nathan, you surely must, you come in there every day. It's probably got footage of it. Probably, yeah. Oil, we've got to do something. All right, come on, we go downstairs now. Oh, by the way, people are saying right here that I need to stop being mean to you. Have you seen them comments? Yeah. Do you agree with that? No. You're my little brother. Oh, no. It's only been two weeks. You're my big brother. Well, for life now. Look at this, man. Look at the deal, bro. No, that's not my snot, that's oh. oil. <laughs> Come on, Cheech. <laughs> True petrol head, <laughs> man, <laughs> blowing out oil. It's a Wednesday. We're all active, we're all having a bit of fun, making a bit of dough. <laughs> no. Do you not need to go to Bistop Yeah, man. My father is on a day out with my mother and my sister. Um, to Bista, and yeah, we're just gonna hold the fort down here. Whoa, yeah. heavy shades, them. Pass, put them shades on, please. Uh, Oof! Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. Orange, black, and 911. Orange, black, and 911. Get me them three keys upstairs. You sure you don't want to wait until they turn yeah. up? No, no, no. Trust, come on, bro. My people, bro. Well, Pass, you had to go to Bista. It was shopping the whole time in the world for that. Really? But, yeah. Hey, Siri. What time is Bista Village closed today? Is Vista Village on Pingle Drive in yeah, 8 o'clock, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 Alright, so my dad was meant to go to Vista, but now he's just got a last minute hire on it. Right, now without moving the Porsche, we've got to put this in there. Now, if you said that's not possible. Careful, careful, there's oil, oil here. Where's right. the oil gone? Yeah, we'll come back to that later on. That needs a wipe down. Right, okay. Careful of the oil, yeah? I'll stand over the oil. You know, you know people put a cone over the oil. Put on the brake. Hazard, caution. Oil spill. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's, yeah, and, yeah. I'll tell you something, it's cleaner than anything this oil is. Oh, you shouldn't do it upstairs anyway. No, no, he did it downstairs, but obviously if he drops a bit, so I sit in the bed. Yeah, yeah. Come okay. upstairs. Uh, nephew, uh, jump in this one. The office now. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going. I'm going. No, I can just. It's a good end today. Sorry. <coughs> Can't do it. You want to go get in it as well? <laughs> Yo, I'm double mic. Does that, does that improve sound? Uh, right. Wednesdays. It's all active. I'm gonna have half a day as well. It's a busy junction. This. All right. We've had a lovely day. Finally, my dad's gonna get out of the office because he's gonna spend some time. Tomorrow it's going to be raining, so we're going to have a good day at the office. Can I get a quick little picture of you just over there? Pops, Absolutely, we yeah. Have a, are, you, uh, are you staying here now and do some work in the office while I'm away? Huh? Well, just, just to keep on tripping things and, you know, if anybody walks in and needs a headbutt or anything like that, you know. Yeah. That's something, look, I didn't that day, you know. <laughs> The shades, like, the colour scheme matching the car and everything. Look at him, bro. It I just yeah. buzzing off my dad driving his car. Yeah. Well, look here you go. Him, bro. You can swap with Sal Sorry. now. No right. Trouble. Okay, we're left in the office now. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna get some first, food. Shall we get some food? Yes. Where are you taking back in? Whereabouts? No, no, my leg, my leg, my leg. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. no worries. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the gaffer's out. 
<laughs> well, as the cat is away, the mice come out to play. <laughs> right, let me get my pen out. Right, yeah. Oh, I do these ones. My dad ones. Oh. Right. Uh, what do you want? No, you got What do you want? SVJ burger. SVJ <laughs> burger. What burger do you want? Cullinan burger. No problem. <laughs> what do you want now? Bugatti burger. Oh, you're expensive. You want coke and dairy milk? Oh, we need the air conditioning on. Oh, look, same spot as yesterday. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Love my brother. That's what I get a lot of people in the say, oh, LA Weekly. And, it's, and they find it very surreal to see you in person. And then you get like some people come up to you and be like, you're actually real. I'm just not a cartoon character. <laughs> Might look like one. <laughs> Might behave like one. Are you enjoying the LA Weekly? <laughs> yes, my bro. <laughs> my, thank you, my bro. He goes, he knows more about you than his actual friend. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, oh, he don't fix like I do. Yeah. Oh, that was his cousin. Oh, that was his cousin. Yeah, that was his cousin. <laughs> That's why they were like, yo. Did you get on the weekly? Yeah, but they don't want to be in it. No, I know, but did you get the other baby in the oh, weekly? Oh, yeah, the other one. Yeah, so basically, yeah, yeah. that baby has also got a cousin that's six months old that I took pictures with this baby. <laughs> yeah. Can we just clear this up, right? Yeah. Not like uh, I'll put you in front of the camera, I've got like a. Uh, not anyone's put a gun to you. Please, can we just clear this up? I'm a nice guy, right? You sure? I don't know why they've got this narrative going, right? Yeah. But, no, why have they got this narrative going, right? Yeah, that um, I'm horrible? Probably because you tried to make me, but it doesn't work. I don't. I'm not. I don't ever try taking the mic out of you. Like yesterday on Insta, he tried to take the mic out of me, but didn't work. Me? He's like, yo, will we trust this guy with a shirt on? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most of it. <laughs> that's allowed, though. That, 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 that's allowed, though. A little bit of that. You allowed. deserve that one. You deserve that one. I think, you know what he actually deserves? God. A cake getting splattered in his face. I wouldn't mind that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Guys, yeah, you've got me for today. We've got Nahid holding the camera because he's also got nothing to do. Upstairs, manic, absolutely crazy upstairs. Due to data protection, I can't actually film a lot of the stuff that goes on in the offices, you know, phone calls, deals being made and things like that. Certain things I can, certain things I can't, so yeah. No, you're all over the place. Okay, stay there, a little bit lower. A little bit, okay, perfect. Anyway, so hopefully Nahid isn't that busy so he can follow me around and I'll have to present to you. Other than that, there's not much you want to follow me in. By the way, guys, as you know, I'm a cameraman, but I've never actually done this before, but let's see what happens. Yeah, so we've had the AVS come back. We've actually got the Dawn as well. That's come back off a long-term hire. That was getting washed up early, as you may have seen. The alloy is refurbed on the Range Rover that we just got picked up yesterday. So Inam's doing his new role, which is sitting upstairs on the phone, taking bookings and deals and stuff. So he's busy, so that's why you've got me. And uh, Nahid, he doesn't really like to present because uh, he just chats waffle. So it's a Thursday and we thought that it will actually be raining today. I've been out on some errands, I've been out on some missions today. It's been a good day. I've seen the officer flat out with bookings. The Bugatti, I parked it on the driveway yesterday and see with the wind blowing and like this kind of humid weather, uh, ended up getting loads of tree sap on it. So Nahid has very kindly uh, just uh, washed it all up. Nahid, all good on the wash? Mint, as he would say. What can I say? We have some guests over that are looking around some of the cars. The Bugatti is getting washed up. I don't think I'm going to be using that any longer because the weather is just annoying and uh, I've got so much work, so much to do that it's not the best daily. Uh, three million pounds. That three million pounds is a, it's a very expensive daily, isn't it? You know, sometimes they think about what cars I could have bought um, instead of the Bugatti or what things I could have bought instead of the Bugatti. See, just to put into perspective how special this car is, could have had 
15 to 16 Lamborghini Auruses. Could have had about 11 Rolls Royce Cullinans, 10 Rolls Royce Cullinans. Could have bought the most expensive house in Birmingham that's for sale on the market right now. We can go on and on and on and on. You understand, you know, sometimes, because we're around cars all the time, we forget how special some of these motor vehicles are, how expensive some of them are. And I've been treating and using that car like it's a, a VW Golf. You know what, last night it came to me and it hit me that, you know what, Aleem, you need to maybe take it easy on this baby, because uh, at the end of the day, it is a three million pound car. It is a lot of money. Uh, I do plan on buying more. So um, if anybody thinks, oh, well, why don't you buy 15 Uruses next time? No, that's not the point of it. It's about quality over quantity. We're in this is a hypercar league now. <laughs> we ain't messing about now. But let's just have a quick little walk around. Uh, being in black, you know, you can understand. It's really, really mucky and dirty. Come out mint now. It's gonna get washed over. I'm gonna jump into something a bit more normal where I don't get spotted left, right, and center. Yeah, job's a good one. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why don't you pop up upstairs? By that time, I'll have this over onto this side. Seven years old, and uh, she loves cars. She's got a whole album full of cars, uh, car pictures that she's taken with cars. Okay, when you get in, just be very careful on this side here. Is this your favorite car you've been in so far? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go on, Mom, you, you, you might as well get around onto this side then. Jump in. Oh my gosh. That's it, we're gonna leave you in it now. I haven't been here since this morning, but uh, the boys are flat out. Everything is not as smooth sailing as you always think it is, but again, having a strong team, having a smart team, having a team that, well, Having a team that doesn't get run over would be helpful as well, Nathan. <laughs> quarantine hotel, updates from the quarantine hotel. Uh, the first guests have arrived. The guests have arrived? Yes, the guests have arrived to the quarantine hotel. I might be a guest over there as well one day if um, they don't open up the borders soon. So Thursday's bookings coming in, problem solving as usual behind the scenes. It's all happening here at PET tomorrow, inshallah Friday. It's gonna be a very, very busy day. Cars going out. Thank you all so much for the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday, let's get it. Morning everyone, Friday morning here at Platinum. Um, I know it's been a slow day yesterday, but there's all good reason behind it. Uh, Friday morning, Alhamdulillah, we've got Bugatti nice and ready. We've got a Wraith ready to shoot straight off. SVJ that we picked up last night at one in the morning. We've got a G-Wagon heading out on a chauffeur job now from Coventry to London. I've had two Rolls Royces leave this morning on chauffeur jobs. Nahid's over here washing the Hurricane Evo and then he'll do the SVJ. We don't have anything coming back. Everything is either being swapped over between customers or shooting straight out. Um, so it's a very busy morning. We've got to try to get everything done by about midday, get everything done by 1 p.m., head to Juma and then carry on through the afternoon and inshallah the evening. But it's a Friday, it's a good feeling. Everyone's feeling good, everyone's feeling buzzed up. Friday. Nathan's, Nathan's half awake. Half awake. Pretty much there, three quarters. <laughs> but we're gonna crack on with the day and we'll catch you later. Only yesterday we were standing out on the forecourt, very, very proud of the weather. And today's chucking it down. You're probably wondering what's in this. Oh, mate, you ain't ready for what's in here. This is my mum's biryani. I thought Fridays, I'd treat you guys. Have to do my own nice haircut. Looking like a jarhead. Have you watched the movie Jarhead? <laughs> You're ready for the military, you are. Assalamu alaikum, nahe bai. And my mum's made some beautiful biryani for us. Wow, what a lineup. This is a dream lineup. Good stuff. Are you excited? I'm not, I'm not kidding, right? I was out cold yesterday and I was out cold today as well. I've been eating good, yeah? I've been eating some quality grub, yeah, for some time. And now when I eat that type of food, my life falls off the edge of a cliff. Asalaamu Alaikum. Pa's mom's made biryani. Oh, wow. This is what you call packaging. Look at the packaging. Look, she's even giving spoons for everyone. Bro, I'm not lying to you, yeah? Let me tell you something right now. I don't think y'all know how special this is right now. 
when, when, when I asked my mum to make this for my friends and that, she says no. When I ask her to make it for me, she thinks about it a couple of days later, it's there. This don't come out often, but today, without even me asking, she said, I have got something for your team. Are you ready for the Briani unveil? Bismillah. I will go get the plates and I will serve it to everybody. You're gonna get the same. You're getting the same. <laughs> you don't see my dad's reaction. Now that says it all. Not many people like their wife's food. Have you found one yet? What, after all these LA weeklies, you still haven't found yourself a missus? We need to put you in front of the camera a bit more then. I get marriage proposals every day. I wake up every morning having to decide, should I get married today or not? <laughs> I'll film you eating later, right, yeah, and say, look, listen, Nathan, is, we'll do like a little charity appeal. Nathan <laughs> is tired of eating alone. Nathan would like a partner. Call today to not sponsor, but to live with Nathan forever. That's your one, lad. Now, where's Nahid? Lion! Let, let this drip dry for a bit, right, yeah, because my mum's brown, he's going to get cold. Come on, let's go upstairs. Let us know when you want to reload on your plates. Right, Nathan. Sit down, lad. Put that there. No more. No, we've got many cars going out today. Then comes here, Phantom. Oh, of course. I think some stuff go out at 7 o'clock in the morning. Can I swear to you? Might have been a show for you. Not a stuff, Nathan. I've just not been feeling too well for these last couple of days. Feeling a bit under the weather. And also, my dad as well. A little bit. He's going to go home and have a break now. That's never been happening. And, um, since he's been that pet. No, you okay, bro? I, uh, just, I'm just feeling a bit lethargic, feeling a bit run down, a bit under the weather. I shouldn't be feeling like this, no matter rest I get. Right, guys, LA Weekly, episode six. That's a wrap. It's Friday here in the office. Uh, everybody has consumed my mom's gima biryani. They've enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, Nahid. Oh, he's even dropped the bottle of water. Yeah, <laughs> Nathan has also enjoyed it. I don't know why I firmed you there as well. <laughs> I just firmed you at the same time. You gave it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've enjoyed this week's weekly, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you want to keep up to date with what's happening daily in my life, make sure you follow me on my Instagram, lordaleem underscore official. And uh, yeah, we're going to be coming at you with lots more weeklies. It's been already been six weeks on it, and you guys have been enjoying so much of the weeklies. It makes me want to keep coming at you uh, with more and more episodes. I look forward to getting out of the offices and start visiting other countries and taking you on a journey. But for now, there's so much happening here at the office. Stay tuned for more episodes. And in next week's weekly, I will be doing a very special giveaway. I wouldn't even say giveaway. A very special giveaway of an experience. I think it involves a Bugatti. Make sure you tune into next week's weekly to find out more about the competition on how you can get involved and how you can experience a drive of a lifetime. Make sure you subscribe, share, like for more content, and I'll see you soon for more videos. Take it easy, guys. God bless. Naki, do you want to cover the thing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bye -bye. Weekend's not finished yet. Is it not? No, no, no. There's loads to do, man. I'll see what you can do, right? Get off your bloody ass and, uh, and drop this off to Bristol, right? It's a customer's car. What car is this? It's an old um, transit van. You'll like it, trust me. It's a proper one. It's it, turboed. Proper Good. Proper bit of kit. Proper bit of kit, yeah. So if you drop that off to the customer. To Bristol. Bristol's not exactly down the road. It's a walk in the park. I haven't driven a van in a very long time. No, you'll be fine. Trust me, there'll be nothing wrong with you. Um, you get used to it. And then when you drop that off, you jump in the cullin. Like that? Cullin? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the last time I drove a van, and I can't remember the last time I drove a, a manual as well. Well, on that note, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a bit early though, because the customer's not going to release the car till 6.30, 7 o'clock. That's but not a problem. I'm in a van. He's absolutely chucking it down with rain. He needs to go and reset with his equipment yeah, at yeah. home. Then we're going to set off from there. And uh, when you go there, you, you, the, you'll be fine. The guy is banging. Uh, I'm sure he is. Proper I also job. need me glasses. Uh, I'll, I'll go get you some paperwork. That's it. <laughs> Yo! LA Weekly! Range Rover key. No, 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 I'm going. I'm hitting the road. Uh, Where are you going? <laughs> Nathan, why is he parked it so far down the road? Is it this one? What, that one? That one? I can fly planes, I can drive hypercars, I can drive vans, I can even drive your bike. Right, we're onto the Coventry Road. Is anybody going to give me way? Nobody wants to get in the way of the van. Especially this one, towering over everyone. Should we see what it sounds like in the tunnel? 
You ready? Put your window down for you. Ready? That was intense. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's pretend to be in Am, shall we? So, right, the time right now is 7.18 p.m. and uh, we're seven minutes away from the customer's house. Uh, we're gonna pick up the car alone. We're in his van right now. We're gonna do the switch over. We're gonna check over the car, make sure everything's okay with it. Bits and bobs and uh, we should be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Am, like, people don't want military timings. It's all right. It's all right, you can take a breathe. You can breathe now in a door knife. And we have arrived. So guys, we're in Bristol right now and behind me is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And the reason why this Rolls-Royce Cullinan was enjoyed today and why we're here in Bristol is because of this young man here. Leo, Leo, come say hi. Say hello. Say hi to LA Weekly. First and foremost, check out Leo's bling. That's what he's just, <laughs> <laughs> check that out. How old are you now, Leo? Six, so Leo's already headed over to Hatton Garden in a Rolls Royce color and I picked up his chain pendant and I think his dad's treating him well. So uh, yeah, I hope they uh, enjoy the color yeah, and everything was yeah, good man. on the color. Sick man, thanks. Yeah, fun yeah, drive, no? Yeah, wicked my yeah, G. Anyway, thanks. I really appreciate Cheers, you guys. Man. Leo? That pendant, you're happy with that, right? So we're in Bristol, picked up the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. We'll be taking this back to base in Birmingham. It will get a full clean up inside out and be ready for the next client. But yeah, there we go. Got to enjoy an experience in a van as well. Nathan, did I drive the van good? Yeah, very well. Yeah, it was good, right? It was good, a good experience. But I think uh, there's no better experience than the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Just look at those orange seats. <laughs> My God, that is so inviting. I hope you've enjoyed this week's LA Weekly episode six. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram if you want to keep up to date with daily activities in my life. Normally I upload quite a lot of stories, some polls and, and that sort of stuff. And I'm quite engaged on the social media side of things on the Instagram. So make sure you do follow me, drop me a DM. I do sometimes answer DMs. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week's LA Weekly. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification button so you don't miss any more episodes. And I'll see you soon for more videos. Take it easy, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.